that you could come. Hello everyone, hello everyone, glad that you could come. I, 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 glad that you could come. I, 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 glad that you could come. Hello babies, hello children, glad that you could come. Hello babies, hello children, glad that you could come. I, 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 glad that you could come. I, 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 glad that you could come. Hello everyone, my name's Joanna and I'm here to welcome you to a very special communication friendly bookbug session this morning. I'm here with Bookbug, Lion and Owl and we're going to be reading one of the stories from the Bookbug Primary One family bag. So to get us all warmed up and ready, let's sing a song about some of the animals who will be in the story. Okay everyone, are you ready to join in at home? We're going to sing a song that I think you might all know and we're going to be singing a bit about some of the animals that we find in the jungle. So let's get ready. First up, we'll have Lion. See the little lion sleeping till it's nearly noon. Shall we wake them with a merry tune? Oh, so still. Are they ill? Wake up soon. <gasps> pounce little lions, pounce, 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 pounce little lions, pounce, 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 pounce little lions, pounce, 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 pounce little lions, pounce, pounce, pounce. Well done, lion. Ooh, who should we have next? How about owl? Ready, owl? See the little owl sleeping till it's nearly noon. Shall we wake them with a merry tune? Oh, so still, are they ill? Wake up soon. Wake up, owl. Flap, little owl, flap, flap, flap. 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 Oh, well done, owl. Back up to your branch. Hmm, now I wonder if there are any other animals we could have that might be in the jungle. Oh, book bug, have you got an idea? You tell me. Ah, oh, that's a good one. Book bug thinks we should have monkeys. I'm sure we've got lots of monkeys there at home, haven't we? Right, monkeys, get ready. See the little monkey sleeping till it's nearly noon. Shall we wake them with a merry tune? Oh, so still, are they ill? Wake up soon. Wake up, monkeys. Jump, little monkeys, jump, jump, jump. Jump, little monkeys, jump, jump, jump. That was fun, wasn't it, boys and girls? Bookbug, did you enjoy that song? Yes, oh, you did. Oh, hang on, he wants to tell me something. Oh, ah, oh, you're right. I think that we saw a monkey around here earlier. I think you're right, Bookbug. Now, where was he? Hmm, let's see, should we have a look for him, Bookbug? Yes? Okay, maybe you can help us at home, boys and girls. Let's see, where shall we look? Oh, over here? Beside the stool? Hmm, no, not over there. Hmm, where else shall we look? Hmm, at the back of the chair. Oh, okay, we'll try that first. Oh, no, there's Owl. No, don't see him there. Hmm, where else, boys and girls? Can you see him anywhere? You can. Oh, oh, boop, boop. Ah, let's try the tree book bug. Oh, there he is. Hello, monkey. You come out. There we go. Ah, there you were there all along. Now monkey can come and join us. Whew. 
I'm tired after all that singing and jumping, aren't you, Bookbug? Yeah, I think it's maybe time to get ready to go to bed. Now let's have a think about some of the things that we do before we go to bed. Bookbug, do you have some special things that you do before you go to bed? You do? Well, maybe you'd like to tell us about them, would you? Yes? Okay, let's hear what Bookbug does before he goes to bed at night time. What do you do first, Bookbug? I brush my teeth. Oh, Bookbug brushes his teeth. Right, let's get ready. This is the way we brush our teeth, brush our teeth, brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth before we go to bed. Hmm, I wonder if they're clean enough. What do you think? More. More? More brushing? Okay. This is the way we brush our teeth, brush our teeth, brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth before we go to bed. Oh, I think that's perfect now. They're nice and white and sparkly. Nice minty breath too. Okay. Right, what do you do next, Bookbug? I wash my face. Oh, Bookbug washes his face. Right, let's get a nice clean face cloth. Are you ready, boys and girls, to join in? This is the way we wash our face, wash our face, wash our face. This is the way we wash our face before we go to bed. Hmm, now, do you think that's clean enough? Hmm, is it clean enough? Hmm, I'm not sure. More. Oh, more. We should do a bit more washing. Right, a bit more. There's still a bit of dirt on his nose. This is the way we wash our face. Wash our face. Wash our face. This is the way we wash our face before we go to bed. Oh, I think that's nice and clean now, isn't it, boys and girls? Oh, yes. Very nice, clean face. What's next, book bug? I put on my pyjamas. Oh, Bookbug puts on pyjamas. Right, let's find your pyjamas. Okay. Oh, these look nice and cosy, don't they, boys and girls? Ready to sing? This is the way I put on my pyjamas, on my pyjamas, on my pyjamas. This is the way I put on my pyjamas before I go to bed. Again. This is the way I put on my pyjamas, on my pyjamas, on my pyjamas. This is the way I put on my pyjamas before I go to bed. Oh, that looks very cosy, book bug. You've got your pyjamas on now. Okay, anything else we do before we go to bed? I brush my hair. Oh, of course, you've got to brush your hair, haven't you? Ready, boys and girls? Let's pretend to brush our hair. This is the way we brush our hair. Brush our hair, brush our hair. This is the way we brush our hair before we go to bed. Now, do we think that's brushed enough? What do we think? more oh more right once again then boys and girls ready this is the way we brush our hair brush our hair brush our hair this is the way we brush our hair before we go to bed right i think you look very nice and tidy and ready for bed now book bug i think that's maybe it i don't think of anything else boys and girls that you might do before you go to bed Book bug? We've got one more idea. I read a story. Of course! I read a story. We all love to have a story before we go to bed, don't we? So I think it's time to cuddle up with Book Bug and our other friends and listen to today's story. Let's get a nice blanket. There we go. Let's cuddle up. I've got monkey, owl and lion. Get ready for today's story. This story is called Arlo the Lion Who Couldn't Sleep. 
It's written and illustrated by Catherine Rayner, and this book reading is by kind permission of Macmillan Books. So let's get started. Bookbug, you're looking quite tired there. Oh, ready for a story. Now let's begin. Arlo was a very tired lion. Arlo. Tired. He had tried everything, but he could not get to sleep. Not sleep. Turn the page. The grass was too prickly and the earth was too hard. The trees were too noisy, but the desert was too quiet. The sun was too hot, but the night was too cold. His family were warm, but they wriggled too much. Turn the page. Everybody knows that lions need a lot of sleep, and Arlo was exhausted. <gasps> Turn the page. Will I ever sleep again? Arlo sighed. But Arlo wasn't the only one who was awake. Of course you will, said a voice from above. I sleep through the day when it's bright, noisy and hot. Shall I tell you how? And the owl began to sing. Owl, sing. Turn the page. Let's sing. Have a good stretch from your nose to your toes. Do a little wriggle, let your eyes gently close. Relax your whole body, slow your breathing right down. Imagine you're sinking into the soft ground. Think about places that you'd like to be. The things that you'd do there and what you might see. As you fall into calmness, so comfy and deep, your mind will rest and you'll drift off to sleep. That's a nice song, isn't it, Book Bug? I think we should sing that song again, boys and girls. Would you like to join in? Ready? Have a good stretch from your nose to your toes. Do a little wriggle, let your eyes gently close. Relax your whole body, slow your breathing right down. Imagine you're sinking into the soft ground. Think about places where you'd like to be, the things that you'd do there and what you might see. As you fall into calmness, so comfy and deep, your mind will rest and you'll drift off to sleep. Turn the page. Arlo stretched, wriggled and tried to relax while Owl sang her song once more. Owl, sing. Turn the page. Arlo thought of the places he would like to go and see. He imagined bounding up mountains, wading in rivers and climbing enormous trees. Then Arlo imagined he might need a rest, so he pictured himself cuddled up with his cosy, snoring family. And before he knew it... <gasps> Arlo, relax. Relaxed, turned the page, and he was sleeping too. Oh, Arlo, sleep. He 
he's asleep. And I think, book bug, I think he's maybe having a dream. A dream as well while he's sleeping. A nice dream. Turn the page. Arlo woke up feeling the sun on his coat. He'd been asleep for hours and felt happy, fresh and full of energy. He couldn't wait to tell Owl. Owl. Turn the page. Little Owl, roared Arlo. I slept. Hooray! Hey. Well done, came a tired voice from above. But now... You've woken me up. Oh, no. I'm sorry, said Arlo. Shall I sing your song to you? Owl nodded her tired head and Arlo began to sing. Arlo, sing. Turn the page. And while he sang, Owl thought of the places she would like to go and see. She imagined flying over open waters, soaring high and fast, and gliding through wild forests. Mm, you see there, you can see. Owl. Night. It's night time, isn't it? There's the moon in the sky. You can see the reflection in the water too. It must be night. Night time. Turn the page. Before she knew it, Owl felt starlight on her feathers. She had slept through the day and felt wonderful and rested. Hooray! Owl and Arlo cheered. Hooray! Owl. Arlo. Hooray! They're so happy that they've got some sleep. Turn the page. We're pleased you've slept, but now you've woken us all up, the grumpy lion pride grumbled. Sorry, said Arlo, but we know what to do, hooted Owl, and Arlo and Owl sang together. Arlo, Owl, let's sing. Let's sing. Are you going to join in at home, boys and girls? Let's all sing the song together. Turn the page. Ready? Have a good stretch from your nose to your toes. Do a little wriggle, let your eyes gently close. Relax your whole body, slow your breathing right down. Imagine you're sinking into the soft ground. Think about places where you'd like to be. The things that you'd do there and what you might see. As you fall into calmness, so cosy, comfy and deep. Your mind will rest and you'll drift off to sleep. <gasps> I think that's going to send everybody to sleep. Turn the page. And before long, everyone was asleep, including Arlo. Everyone, that is, except Owl. Well, look at all those lions sleeping. Should we count how many lions are sleeping, boys and girls? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Ten lions and Arlo too. All fast asleep. Sleep. Everyone that is, except Owl. Turned the page. Who looked out over her friends, spread her wings and flew silently away, looking forward to the long, quiet night ahead. Owl. Off into the night. Night. Night, night, Owl. Well, that was a lovely story, wasn't it, Bookbug? 
I hope you enjoyed that story at home too, boys and girls. And I hope you're feeling nice and relaxed, just like Arlo and Owl. Right, boys and girls, now we've all had a big stretch from our nose to our toes, Ugh, just like Arlo. I think we've got time for one more song. What do you think, Bookbug? Would you like one more song? You would like one more song. Right, okay. Well, I think we're going to find someone else to help us. Someone else who was here earlier. That cheeky monkey. Shall we see if we can find him again, Bookbug? Yeah? Right, let's see if we can find him. Oh, he wasn't over here. Mm, not down there. What do you think, boys and girls? You think in the tree? You're right. He's up in the tree. You come and join us, monkey for our last song. Okay, now everyone at home, I think this is one you all know and it's lots of fun. It's called Head, Shoulders, Knees and Toes. Are you all ready to join in at home? Let's go. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Knees and toes, knees and toes. Knees and toes, knees and toes. Knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Knees and toes, knees and toes. Toes, toes. Toes, toes, and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Toes, toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. And ears and mouth and nose. Mouth and nose. Nose. Goodness. Right. What do you think, book bug? That was fun, wasn't it? More. Do you think we should sing it one more time? Right, I think we should sing it one more time. We'll put all the words back in and let's see how fast you can do it at home, everyone. Okay, you ready? One more time. Ready. One, two, three. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. <laughs> that was fun. Wasn't a bit bug. Well done, monkey. You were very good at that song. Oh, right. Well, I think after all that jumping around, I think we're all tired now. How do you feel, book bug? Are you a bit tired as well? Yeah. Oh, right. I think that's us. I think that we've, that's us finished for today, boys and girls. So thank you very much for joining us. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Glad that you could come. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Glad that you could come. I, 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 glad that you could come. I, 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 glad that you could come. Goodbye babies, goodbye children, glad that you could come. Goodbye babies, goodbye children, glad that you could come. Ay, 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 glad that you could come. Ay, 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 glad that you could come.
This has been a communication-friendly bookbug session using the Call Scotland symbolised resources. These are available for anyone to download and use, particularly for children with additional support needs and communication difficulties. Just go to www.symbolsforall.org.uk forward slash bookbug. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on Primary One Family Bag 2022. If you are interested in the Big Mac, Step by Step or Go Talk 9 Plus you have seen today, you can find out more at www.symbolsforall.org.uk forward slash assistive technology. You can also download this year's symbolised resources from Scottish Book Trust. Just follow the link below.